the shackles of expectancy had for once been removed. I was about to revitalise an old, romantic, yet cheap and effective drop net that I didn't even realise I still had. I wondered if it would still bag the bunnies. Was it worth a try? Well, it would be rude not to. Unorthodox in every sense of the word, this drop net definitely goes against the grain. But to be brutally honest, I had serious reservations about the effectiveness of this net. It was constructed and assembled for less than £10. For the price of three pints, this concoction of bamboo canes, cable ties and drainage pipe, plus one of my old lightweight nets, we had made the ultimate cheap and cheerful drop net. To begin with, the rabbits were very weary of something. Was it my dim IR light, or could they sense my presence, or the presence of yet another predator? It was Mr. Foxy. He was on the prowl, patrolling one of his nighttime larders. After a standoff with my little dim light, he strutted his stuff back under the cloak of darkness. Once it was safe to do so though, the rabbits emerged. I had a close encounter with one corny and it didn't like my IR light so he quickly returned for a millisecond before his hunger drove him past me. Once safe in the distance with his friends, it was immaterial what I was up to as I grazed contently into the spring evening. It quickly became obvious that no more rabbits would surface this evening, so I had a decision to make. Do I wait and risk losing everything, or do I bank my chips, get the cord pulled and bag our bunnies? As I was stuck in the hide, I had to text Steve to pull the cord, and once he pulled the cord, the pins were released from the canes. 50 yards of netting blanketed the rabbit's escape route. Steve made some noise and beat the rabbits towards the waiting net, fleeing towards a home they were destined never to reach. Stuck like a fly in the web, Steve chinned the first, but I couldn't resist joining in and sprung out of my hide to quickly join him in necking the second. Romanticising about netting is one thing, but going out and getting it to work consistently is another. As quick as the action was, we were even quicker in breaking down, packing up and disappearing into the darkness ourselves. Well that was fun. Don't do it that often. We just went out, see if we could work with this drop net. It wasn't about numbers caught, it wasn't about quantity, it was about quality. Could we do it? So we made one out of bamboo canes and an old net, cost us under a tenner. Went out there, didn't even bother about pre-setting the canes with soothing over the cross to get the rabbits used to coming underneath. Didn't have time for that, we just wanted to see if it would work. Did it years ago and it works very well in a little sticky situation as I've talked about earlier. But as we've seen, we went out there, caught one or two rabbits, well a couple more really, and we enjoyed ourselves. 